I'm at the art supply store. I've got to pick up some supplies. I said I was going to do a project. This is for a group show. The show goes up in September and the work needs to be at the gallery uh, like a week ago. I need to get on it and get making the work. Oh gosh, I've got hairs everywhere. The idea is that I'm going to reprint the Major Arcana at the print shop. That work will then be mounted onto panels. So I need to make the prints, make the panels. So I'm here to get the wood for the panels uh, and then I need to go to the hardware store and get strips of um, one by one boards or something and glue and I need new paper to print on. Um, hopefully I can find the same kind that I used for the original print uh, but we will see what they have in store today. I don't even know the name of the paper I got. I just know what it looks like so we'll see. I feel like I need to like whisper in here because it's very dark and moody. My plan was to make new prints of all of the Major Arcana. Then last night I went to prep my paper and while I was prepping it I realized that this paper isn't the same paper that I was using before and it started to tear very easily and this was like at 11 o'clock at night. Anyway so the paper started tearing and I was like oh shit. Like, Okay, either tomorrow I can run to the art store, buy a bunch of papers, take them to the printmaking studio, um, process them, like coat them, get them dry, then try them out. But it's just full of so many unknowns and I really need to get this project um, completed so that it can go to the gallery. So I decided that instead of running around with like a chicken without a head, I'm just going to use my originals, the one, the images that were scanned for the deck, and I'm going to mount those to panels. So panels to come this weekend. In the meantime, I'm going to take these down. I, I don't think I can use this paper in cyanotype when it's wet, it just falls apart. It, it, it just is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to take those all down and then uncover all the windows, get the studio back up to snuff. Hello, good morning. 
uh, it's the next day and oh, oh let's paint on my camera how about that I'm tired today I think this is what happens when I paint into the evening yeah I like stopped painting at like 10 o'clock but usually I'm a bit more chill uh, in those hours so what I'm gonna do this morning I'm going to just proof practice um, mounting one of my proof cyanotypes. Servants and groundskeepers move back and forth in the yard. None had yet noticed parents. Hello, good morning. Um, I'm very pleased. I am in the studio probably before 9.30. And lately I've been waking up at 9.30, so this is good news. <laughs> Today, this morning, hopefully it won't take forever, I am going to be mounting my cyanotypes, the original prints, onto these beautiful panels that my partner helped me make. Um, I think they look very professional. There are some hand-worked qualities to them. Yeah, the cradles are done with um, poplar. And dang, I really like the like sharpness that the poplar gives. These are looking good. We're going to go over to the gluing station. Maybe I'll do the gluing station here. I don't know. Set up somewhere and get rolling on this part of the process and then I can get these to the gallery as soon as they're dry, which could be today, if not tomorrow.
I want to give a little bit of a chatty update. I haven't chatted very much in this last uh, while. I think the cyanotypes mounted on the panels are at the gallery now. They will be they will be in a show in September. Those are also the panels that I have as a tier on the Kickstarter and the Kickstarter is currently still going and I cannot believe the support that the project has gotten. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased. Please just punch. I'm pleased just punch. It's as a good friend of mine says, as artists we feel like we're working on little islands alone and it's really nice when you feel supported by your community. In other updates, I have thought up what I'm going to be doing for the card back. That is stored in here right now and I am very excited about making those happen with the shiny foiling. That is going to be done right away, probably in the next couple days. Oh, I feel so relieved now that that work is dropped off. It was actually due a while ago, so I'm a little bit behind. I feel I had a schedule, <laughs> but I'm very happy to have that in. And yes, yeah, so now my focus is working on the tarot, um, the booklet backs, and the box design. In more personal news, I have one last week of my Joe job left for the summer and I have decided not to continue in the fall. I've got some travel plans coming up and it just doesn't seem like the best fit anymore. So I will be keeping another one of my Joe jobs and uh, we'll see how things go from there. Very excited that in the fall come September I will have a lot more time to be working in the studio and making works because because I have some shows to be working towards. Anyways, I will get back on my bike and head home and um, maybe do some computer work or else I will go into the studio and work on that painting a bit. We will see. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? Take 
Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew my will is strong with a place to lean in the moment I hung desperately the other ring of my wrist is gold pairing with the light it holds when I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told this video it has been a long time coming I need to look at the footage that I have for this video but I think that this is going back like into the summer and it is now mid September this time has been really stop and go with the tarot deck which is now submitted to the printer and is all done there's been some backlog with the printers because of lockdowns but I can hope that that will go quicker in the future, that it's all going to be fixed and going well. I'm so happy to be working on this painting again. I don't think I'm going to finish it right now because it needs to dry between layers, but I'm, I'm glad that I got to show you the beginning of the making of this painting and that you'll also see it now. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to be uh, out of the studio for a while. I've got a trip planned. I'm hoping that I'll have lots of time to draw and to come up with new ideas for paintings and just to relax and to um, enjoy seeing somewhere in the world. I think I'll tell you about it when I come home if I make footage or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's getting cold in here. We're, we're in the middle of um, installing a new furnace in the studio, so I should have a studio that is warm through the winter, which will be amazing. I will be sad to see the old heater go. It's it's creaky, whirling, possibly dangerous nature will be deeply missed. I'm going to um, leave the studio right now. It's cold in here because neither of the furnaces are in working condition right now. Let's see what the temperature is. It's 12 degrees. Cold enough. Yeah, time to go in and uh, see what this video is going to look like. Start editing it. Okay. Bye, 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 bye.